here equity module which will help me so uh, this document which you see so you have to read it very carefully and you see these all are parameters and default value and some of these are required so go through this in detail so here i got to know my module name is ept and the parameter which i want to use it which is uh, state is important parameter here name is package name so you have to go a little bit uh, in detail apache 2 i know that the package name is apache 2 in one two and the state is equal to present which is ui so present default you can write latest also if you want to remove you can put it absent also so all this thing you can do that so here uh, you got this and then same way you have to find out the module which will copy the uh, file same way you have to find out the module which will start the servers so like that okay so more or less i know that so this is the only way you can find out so i know that so i'm writing directly the commands so can we do that so these are the ad hoc commands which will be running on the local machines look at this and simply is ad hoc commands and i'll teach you playbook also but first ad hoc so ansible where you want to run localhost which module so this module should be apt the what you want present name of the package apache 2 now this hyphen m for module name of the module a for arguments these are the arguments and b means pseudo access now you will ask how do you get to know so actually these all options if i type ansible um, ansible then you see here here you have here you have and then here you have all these options are there you have to spend some time for finding out your options so here this code is done now copying the file from where so current location so do you have that file so i don't have that file let me create it so bi index.html and here h1 h1 welcome to ansible save it so this file is also created so with that now my code is ready to run and this code will run in the local host only okay so like that whatever the requirement you have what you have to do you have to find a module and its parameter uh, using this method the one which i show you this website okay and then like this you'll create a command for that this is called ad hoc commands you understanding all of you hello Raj, i have a question uh yeah in the ubuntu machine we are following this procedure so if it is like another uh, uh, variation how will this change is it the same so process? this mod this module will change actually from ap to yam So this module, you see that here, uh, just type, for example, install Ansible module, uh, module for installing package in Red Hat or Sandbox. So you got this, you got, see, your module here. It is. Okay, so module, because there are thousands of module, you cannot remember each and every module so easy way to do that uh, search this uh, use this technique and simple module for got it so out of this so, um, ansible like do we just get only one configuration file like for each of the you know let's say when we are working on a release is it just one configuration file or too many files uh configuration file i have not touched so far 
so this is a command actually ad hoc commands uh this is one command the initial phase of that one like right after yeah uh, so uh, but after that i'll write some code here in playbook so right now i'm running the ad hoc commands okay thank you okay so now let me test this code in my local server so mind it here close this find it here uh, which apache 2 see it's not installed so i run this code and so before applying the code in other server which is ars server i am trying the code in my own machine see so this got installed okay see change true here so if you rerun multiple times also nothing will happen this is called idiom potency and you have change false because it's already installed now so you see that okay so this is done now can i copy this file also enter done if you redo this stuff change is going to be false you see here. now same thing service is not running so this command let me first check manually and you see here apache 2 so service is running what i will do uh, system ctl stop apache 2 i stopped it manually just to demo okay now it's not running now run this command and there is a problem so the problem here is this is correct but this service should be apache 2 see now let me check it's running now so this way this way whatever the you want a desire you can get it done using ars command a ad hoc command so like this you'll write it are you comfortable so far hello yes, all of you yeah so now how do we run this same ad hoc command in the other machine because this machine is working fine and you can check this valid here see it's working fine so how do we run this same command in the ars machine so for that you have to use little bit of changes which i'll do that first let me copy so so first you'll copy and then you will do something like this okay so what is this now you want to run in other machines okay so instead of local host what you'll do you will write uh, inventory so here i'll let me create one command for this ars one machine which is here and then ARS, this machine also are considered as ARS. You can consider that this comma is important. Okay. So here, this is a list. So this is, we call it in Ansible inventory. Okay. So I means inventory. So what is inventory? Inventory means uh, there's a more, many definitions are there. Inventory means collects list of list of ip address of ars this is inventory we call it so you see that this is a list okay this is the list comma between you have here and here or it can be a file also by the way you can pass this list on the command line which i'm passing but you can pass in the file also i'll show you that it can be by the way script also lots of specifications are there i don't want to confuse you so here this is the list which i'm passing on the command line hyphen i inventory 
and here this one is a module name so this is the one and copy paste it so this module you want to run it now when you run in the different machine okay so you have to give the access right all of you correct now correct now so, yeah Rajesh. yeah so how do we give the access so this this command will fail because access is not even given so how do we give access so access you can give using this options so here you have this one so what is username so my username is ubuntu and b means sudo okay and here is ubuntu and and where is a key so key i am having in my uh, here i'll just copy this key and store it yeah, so node dot pm done save it and ch mode 600 key should be having this permission node.pm so i got that one so if you see that here what i'm trying to say look at understand this ansible run this module on these two machines or multiple machines inventory all all means all all of inventory and with this sudo user and key are you comfortable all of you yeah so very simple so now let me deploy this can be hundreds of machines also okay uh, so this is i am deploying so the clean and, and yes yes one machine has some problem i i'll talk about it little bit later So what happens? Uh, Ansible parallelly try to connect to this machine and this machine through SSH. So first machine it asks for the fingerprinting. Second machine automatically taken a default no. So that is a problem. So let's wait for it. Yes. Now it's done. So let me run one more command. Enter yes okay so now if you want to avoid this fingerprinting ansible behavior has to be changed so how do we change this ansible behavior i'll show you this so there's a configuration file right let me change this so this is where if any behavior you want to change you have to change this file now you see that uh, the file which is same so empty let me check so why it's empty it is if there any other path let me check so this is the path correct so now this file is empty okay uh, so what to do so earlier you know what used to happen this file was having all the options available filled with but commented actually but right now it's empty it's a new version of ansible so no problem they are giving you all options available here as part of github so we'll go for this and and fuck here all this option you see and try to find out which options which will help you to avoid the fingerprinting 
so i know that so host key checking we call it okay this one so if you make it host key checking false uh, this options thanks for watching want to study further join our training programs today